Okay, boys and girls, this was our last word from yesterday, drizzle. Who can look at their vocabulary folders and tell me what the first word for today is? What is that first word for today? Rachel. Stock. Stock. The word is stock. It means the stem of a plant. This is the stock. It's the big, thick part of a flower or of a bamboo stick. This is bamboo. The stock would be this part here, this middle part. So go ahead and write your definition down. The stem of a plant. I'll give you guys about two, about a minute. It's not very long. I'll give you guys about a minute to write that down. The stem of a plant. Yep, I want to see thumbs up when you're ready. Thumbs up when you're ready. Purple group is the first group. Oh, green group was, and then purple. Blue group's ready. Orange group is ready. Just waiting on pink for just a second. Uh, boys and girls, flat tire. Thank you. I don't want to hear talking. Okay. What is our next word? What is our next word? Ellie? Groom. Groom. It means to brush and clean one's hair. So this guy is grooming his monkey. He's grooming his monkey. There's a monkey sitting on the sink, and he is grooming it. You need to hurry so you can write down the definition. Thumbs up when you're ready. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Clean is one of your spelling words. Good job, Mason. Okay, green group is ready. We'll give you guys about a minute more. Good job. Ooh, purple group's ready, green group's ready, orange group looks ready. Okay, let's see. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, it looks like we're good to move on. Next word. What word is this? What word is this? Abby? Sleek. It means smooth and glossy. The car is sleek. It's very shiny. It's very smooth. It doesn't have a lot of dents. Actually, it probably doesn't have any dents, but it's just a very, they would describe this car as being very sleek. Very sleek. Smooth and glossy. Green group's done. Green group is on a roll. They're tough to beat. I think purple group was second. Pink group's almost ready. Orange group is ready. Smooth and glossy. Okay, we're gonna go to flip over to chapter nine. We're gonna do chapters eight and nine today so that we can finish up Magic Tree House hopefully tomorrow. So go ahead and go to chapter nine vocabulary. We're gonna, uh, Dominic, in the vocabulary. We're going to write down three more definitions. 
We're going to write down three more definitions. Okay. What is our next word, Rachel? L. Huh? L. No. How do we say that word? How do we say that not word? Not you. Oh. oh. It's a feeling of wonder or amazement. You see something incredible and you're like, oh, goodness, that's so pretty. Like if you go to the Grand Canyon or something like that, a sense of awe or a sense of amazement. Yes. Uh, so we're going to do both of these both um, tests where uh, there's a word and then there's a word in chapters. Yeah, we're going to do both chapters today. We've got a lot of work to do today. So go ahead and write down your definition for awe. A feeling of wonder. A feeling of wonder. Man, Green Group is crushing it. Green Group is on a roll. Orange Group is done. All right. Good job, Dominic. You're on a roll, too. You're getting your work done quick. Good job. Pink Group's almost done. Purple group's almost done. Alright, and Phoenix is done. Excellent. Okay, what is this next word? How do we say it? Tegan, give it a shot. Clung. It means to become attached. Like the koala has clung to the guy's leg. He is attached. He is a part of the guy now. It's like when my daughter or my son clings to my leg. That's basically what it looks like. I'm trying to walk around the kitchen with a three-year-old on my leg or a one-year-old on my leg. And I can't go anywhere. They've become attached. They're stuck there. I'm trying to shake them loose. Okay, we've only got one more word in. One more word after this. One more word. Okay. Still finishing up. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? What word is this? Jagger, read it to me. So it means a partial view. You you don't get a good look at it. You just get like a brief look. So they're taking a test, and he distracted the guy sitting next to him, and he glimpses at his test. He's trying to cheat off of the guy sitting next to him. I've seen some of you guys glimpse at your neighbor's test. Like, quit glimpsing, quit cheating, Rachel. You've got glimpse means a partial view, a partial view. You don't get a good long look at it, but you just get a little sneak peek of it. Okay. That was our last word, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. 